Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Online. Today we will discuss about the evolution, right? In evolution, as we know that, what is that evolution? And in that chapter, we will study about the origin of life. That is the study of history of the life which uh, form, uh, forms on the earth first time, right? How it will, how the life forms first time at the earth, how the earth is formed, right? Uh, what will happen, uh, what kind of changes is there, what are the evidences of the evolution, the biological evolution, the chemical evolution, right? Uh, the uh, hypothesis or the theories related with that, uh, uh, which kind of the theories uh, is given uh, regarding to the origin of life on the earth, right? And uh, origin of life and the evolution of earth, it forms a biodiversity, which kind of flora and fauna is formed uh, here, right? At what time, uh, what kind of uh, molecules is formed on the earth, right? How the external atmosphere is formed, the Big Bang Theory, the Hardy-Weinberg principle, about the human evolution also, right? How the human evolution occurs first, that Dryopithecus and the again after that will uh, uh, goes towards the up to the modern man right how we will develop our cranial capacity all these things will study under the chapter of the evolution right it's very easy actually these are the very general these are the very general questions in our mind right uh, that uh, how will uh, come first right and what kind of human come first in the uh, earth right how will originate our origin is from uh, what type side right so all these things are comes under that chapter evolution so we can say the evolution that evolution means the act of unfolding or unrolling right the act of unfolding and unrolling and uh, in simple terms the evolution is an orderly change from one form to the other right that is called the evolution now come to the uh, in the form of questions we will discuss about the summary of the evolution right come to the first question this is the stimulation experiment conducted by the miller and the yuri right select the correct statements actually in 1953 the miller and which is an american scientist he created similar condition in the laboratory scale right in the laboratory scale you can see here by the use of the flask the condensers the taps and the boiling water all these things by use he create an at at artificial atmosphere just like the uh, at the time of the evolution of the earth right at the time of the evolution of the earth so what will happen he created the electric discharge you can see here by the use of these electrodes a uh, con uh, closed flask which containing the uh, ammonia methane hydrogen and the water vapors at 800 degree centigrade temperature right what kind of gases are there methane ammonia hydrogen and water right these are the electrodes right and what will happen he observed that in the by the passing of these current by these electrode and in presence of these gases right that spark charge what will happen the formation of the amino acids right the formation of the amino acids is there clear so what will happen uh, in similar experiment other observed the formation of the sugars the nitrogenous bases the pigments and the fats right that one is uh, the condenser the first one is that condenser right that second is the liquid water in trap that fourth one is the boiling water 
right that fourth one is the boiling water that third one is to vacuum the pump right that third one is the to vacuum the pump so now what will happen here uh, analysis of the meteorite contains also in that experiment revealed the sim uh, similar compounds right uh, which indicated which indicated that the similar processes are occurring elsewhere in the space right so through that experiment miller ure proved that right so we uh, now we will have choose the correct statement right this is uh, this comes under the chemical evolution of the earth right this is comes under the chemical evolution of the earth or we can say it is the evidences right evidences of the chemical evolution of the earth and to give uh, to give the proof uh, proof uh, proof of these theories uh, right uh, these experiments and these processes some scientists that miller ure give an experiment right now what will happen in that question select the correct statement that fifth indicates the water ammonia methane ammonia at 800 degree centigrade okay it is correct four one is the boiling water source of the water vapors exactly it is correct one is the condenser brings down the temperature correct so the answer is d that is all of the above answer is d that is all of the above clear now come to the next question the agriculture came in practice with arise of neanderthal man is it right or wrong wrong right agriculture practice is not uh, arise with the neanderthal man when we talk about the neanderthal man it is uh, the neanderthal man is known as the homo sapiens neanderthalis right neanderthalensis actually its origin and evolution is before 40000 to 1 lakh years right fossils was discovered by the neanderthal valley of the germany that's why they are called the neanderthal man what will happen in uh, the neanderthal man they lives in the herds right they lives in the lived in herds clear cranial capacity is cranial capacity is 1300 to 1600 degree centigrade right 1300 to 1600 degree centigrade when but when we talk about the average so on an average it is 1400 right when we talk about its uh, uh, they have the complete erect posture right they had they had the complete erect posture semi circular jaw and orthognathous position ceremonial uh, burial of uh, dead bodies are start by the neanderthal man right so ceremonial burial of dead body they wore the cloths of animal skin
less developed chin speech center developed right by nature they are the omnivore right by nature they are the omnivores and they are the first man who believed in the immortality of the soul right they are the first man believed in immortality believed in immortality of the soul clear so these are the characteristic features of the neanderthal man who uh, origin whose origin and evolution is bef uh, before 40000 to 1 lakh year right so that is the these are the characteristic features of the neanderthal man and as we know that the agriculture practice was done first time does done by the homo sapiens sapiens that is the modern man right agriculture that's that's why that statement is wrong that second statement is wrong right oh sorry first statement now come to the second that is agriculture came in practice about 40000 years ago no it's wrong it came in practice about the 10000 years ago so that in that way both the options are wrong that's why the answer is d right come to the next question match the column ancestor uh, these are the ancestors of the humans right that is the australopithecus the homo habilis the neanderthal man and the homo sapiens right as we know that about first we match these columns right a that is australopithecus they lived in the east african grassland right they lived in the east african grassland so the answer uh, a is go, go is go with goes with the third option homo habilis homo habilis the first human like the homo net right so b is when two neanderthal man use of hides we just uh, uh, study about the neanderthal na that they wore the clothes of the animal skin that is the hides right so use of the hides by the neanderthal that is c1 homo sapiens arose uh, during the ice age right so the answer is a3 is that is b and d cancel b2 b2 c1 that is answer is a right now little bit uh, we have to know little bit about about the these ancestors of the humans right when we talk about the australopithecus this australopithecus uh, about 2 to 3 million years ago right they lived in the east african grassland the evidences uh, the evidences shows that they hunted with the stones right the evidences shows that they hunted with the stones right and it was an ape man that australopithecus was an ape man and it have the many characters of the man and the apes both so it is considered as the link between the apes and man right that is the another question related with the australopithecus right that is the connecting link between the 
एप एंड दी मैन राइट नाउ कम टू दी नेक्स्ट दैट इज होमो हेबलस होमो हेबलस दे आर नोन एज दी टूल मेकर मैन और हैंडी मैन राइट दे आर नोन एज द टूल मेकर मैन और द हैंडी मैन एक्चुअली दे आर द फर्स्ट ह्यूमन बींग लाइक राइट दे आर द फर्स्ट ह्यूमन बींग लाइक राइट its fossils was discovered by the uh, dr licky from 2 million years old rocks in africa right and they found that they lived in they lived in the caves right the cranial capacity is about It was about six fifty to eight hundred cc, right? They have the complete erect posture. They have the complete erect posture, right? Chin is absent. You know that, na? That is chin, right? That chin is the absent dental formula is same as the human that is the 2 1 2 3 upon 2 1 2 3 right so the dental formula is same as the human that is 2 1 2 3 upon 2 1 2 3 its jaw is u shaped jaw is u shaped and u shaped jaw position is that condition is known as the prognathus right prognathus clear he was the first man who makes the tools with the help of the stones for the hunting of animals right first man who made tools of stones for hunting of animals right for the hunting of animals by nature they are the omnivore and sometimes uh, somehow they show the cannibalism also right that means they are the uh they are the man who ate their own species right they also show they are the omnivore that means they are vegetarian and non vegetarian both right but they also show the cannibalism right cannibalism that means the person who ate their own species right uh, they are called the cannibalism that's why you know uh, actually that uh, that theory is very famous that human evolution occurs from the africa right we all are the actually we all are the africans from the evolutionary history but due to the biodiversity right as the uh, population increases and they use the worldwide spaces right so according to their environment temperature and all these things now we have shows the different traces clear right so in that way that is the, this is the homo habilis right so he was the first human like hominid now neanderthalus manus we already uh, studied about that right now come to the homo sapiens and we uh, and uh, 
that australopithecus is the prehistoric man right come to the that homo sapiens that these homo sapiens that means the modern man or the man of the today right the origin and the distribution in whole world is just about uh, before the 10 to uh, 10,000 to 11,000 years ago right the cranial capacity at that time at the time of evolution that is 1300 to 1600 cc that is same as the neanderthal man right but nowadays just due to the use of the machines and all these things we reduce our uh, cranial capacity right we reduce our cranial capacity by the use of all these machines and all uh, right so it's uh, nowadays it's just about 1360 cc right the complete erect body posture, the jaw is uh, a semi-circular jaw, that is the orthognathus condition is there, right? The well-developed chin, well-developed uh, speech center, right? The uh, small forehead with the front eyes, right? Small forehead with the front eyes, a small, uh, fossil man, uh, the less hairs as compared to the uh, less appearance of the hairs as compared to the fossil man right by nature they are the omnivore clear and the agricultural practice was started by them clear so uh, this is all about the homo sapiens so now you know all things about the australopithecus the homo habilis the neanderthal man and the homo sapiens clear come to the next question that is the match the column right these are the events and the age in maya that is million years ago that maya full form is the million years ago right first one is the extinction of the dinosaurs the extinction of dinosaurs occurs 65 uh, million years ago that is a one right arouse of the ichthyosaurus arouse of the ichthyosaurus is 200 million years ago the all these data is given in the ncrt so you have to learn it right arouse of the jawless fishes jawless fishes arouse uh, at uh, 350 million year ago right and the evolution of invertebrates that is 500 million years ago right so a1 a1 is given in a and c so b and d is cancelled right then uh, 2c 2c is given only in the a option right b3 and 4d yes right so the answer is a you have to just learn it directly how many events results into the change frequency of the genes and the alleles in future generation right so gene flow correct mutation correct gene flow what is gene flow that is in population uh, genetics the gene flow is the transfer of the genetic material from one uh, population to the another right that is called the gene flow and change in the frequency of the genes and alleles in future generation that gene flow and mutation is necessary mutation that is sudden change in the uh, traits genetic traits right so the uh, changes are there right recombination during gametogenesis exactly recombination is there that's where the new traces of the characters are found there right and the genetic drift so all these are the events which results into the uh, frequency of the genes and the alleles in the future generation right so the answer is four clear so in short we have to know about the definitions right first one is that gene flow what is that gene flow when we talk about the population genetics so in population genetics gene flow is 
transfer of genetic material from one population to another right if the rate of gene flow is high enough then the two population will have the equivalent allele frequencies right and there can be considerable a single a uh, single effective population right so that is the gene flow now come to the second that is the mutation right what is mutation we know that mutation that is sudden changes right sudden changes so we can define it the changing the changing of the structure of a gene resulting in a variant form right that is different form that may be transmitted to subsequent generations right which is caused by why mutation is here which is caused by the alteration alteration of single base units in dna right that is the genetic material right and if the, the in dna there is changes right that means the there is changes in a structure of a gene right which causes the sudden mutation and appearance of the new characters there right so that is called an even by the deletion of some basic units by the addition of some basic units all these right right so rearrangement of the larger sections of the genes or the chromosome occurs in the mutation clear right so this is called the mutation now the third one is the recombination during gametogenesis obviously right due to the mutation there is a new combination and because there are two genetic materials and form uh, uh, the new one which have which are having the new characters right now come to the next one that is the genetic drift what is genetic drift that is the variation in the relative frequencies of the different genotypes right what is genetic drift that is variation in the relative frequencies of different genotypes in a small in a 
in a small population right which owing to uh, which owing to the chances of the disappearance of the particular gene or uh, individual uh, individual die or do not the reproduce right owing to chance of disappearance of particular genes as individuals as individuals die or do not reproduce right so that is called the genetic drift clear